Let's start off with our facility requirements. A secure system requires sound physical security. Now, that sounds good, but what does it mean to provide sound physical security? It means that you have to ensure that every piece of the puzzle that you can't live without is secure and nothing bad can happen to it. Or, if something bad does happen to it, you know what to do. How do we do this? Well, we start off using a very simple approach that can get complex, but we perform a critical path analysis of a system. Now, a critical path analysis will define relationships between mission critical applications. That's where you ask yourself the question, what do I have to do to stay in business? You ask that from a functional standpoint. Let's say that you are a producer of ice cream. If you produce ice cream, then in order to stay in business, you have to produce ice cream. What does it take to produce ice cream? We'll start at the very end. If I were to back the process up, think of it as an assembly line. If I pick up a box of ice cream and take it back inside the factory, what happened? Well, we packed the ice cream in the box. Okay, great. What happened before that? Well, we did something else. And at some point, we're going to get all the way back through the process until we end up with a bunch of hopefully nothing more than sugar, milk, and one or two other things that we can pronounce. The idea behind it all is that we figure out exactly what process it takes to produce our ice cream, and then we decide how each function is interrelated. And that is our critical path. What happens if we lose electrical power and we have no refrigeration? Can we continue to produce ice cream? Probably not. We need to address that. Once you ensure that each of the elements on the critical path have secure environments, then you're on your way to developing a full facility sound physical security policy. Make sure that each individual element is physically secure and is provided with the proper environment. The proper environment may be the appropriate temperature, for example. You may find that a physically secure database server, or rather a database server is physically secure, but if it happens to be running in a room that's reaching 105 degrees, it's not going to run very long. So therefore, because of the environment, it actually is not secure because if the machine crashes, you have availability failures.